there who which basically i've gone on to watch the entire thing i think i watched one particular video from comics explained on youtube where he essentially has a five-hour video breaking down covering the entire you know invincible law and breaking it you know basically finishing the whole story so i know what's basically going to happen i've read all the spoilers but still it's such a fascinating you know um comic book series that i don't mind waiting to kind of see it again on tv especially in an animation so especially in this animated series on amazon prime but i have to be honest so far season two has been kind of underwhelmed first off there's not enough blood in it like if you see some of the scans from invincible the actual comic books which i'll probably end up buying myself for the for the time that we're at in terms of because the, the series basically follows the comic books pretty like for like if anything they focus in on a few of the stories more so than the comics like this on season two now there's a lot of focus in um what's his face invincible's mum, right how she's kind of dealing with the fact that omni man you know did what he did and ran away and stuff and he basically doesn't think of her too well and whatnot or basically abandon her left her to dust and how she's basically been a been having to kind of pick up the scraps of it and she obviously goes into a downward spiral of alcoholism right she becomes an alcoholic and you know it's a pretty decent storyline and that's kind of and there's a few other ones in there as well where they kind of focus on a few of the other characters but animation wise there's just not enough blood and gore if you see season two honestly via the comics the amount of fucking crazy battles and fights that happen the amount of blood and guts that are spilled all over the place is fucking crazy just not enough for me it just looks a little bit tame it looks a little bit too pg and they really need to kind of turn up the fucking gore a little bit on this it's kind of getting a little bit annoying to be fair um and it's kind of dragging on and also having a break mid-season for an animated series is really unforgivable it kind of reminds me of why i fell out of love with dbz right dragon ball z back in the day they'd always have these fucking annoying filler episodes they'd pause all the time in between seasons and by the time they'd come back anyway you know the writing was terrible towards the end anyway it was obviously a good introduction to anime but for the most part you know you probably need to graduate from that sort of shit and i just think you know for the animated series especially considering how detailed and fucking vast the fucking source material is these guys have no excuse to just bail mid-season on this now it just feels a <coughs> sorry it feels a little bit annoying so I have to wait a while to kind of get the rest, the second half of season two. Um, obviously, most of it has been impacted because of the strikes and shit, but I still think they should have had enough of this done for an animated series, to be fair. But again, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm overlooking how hard it is to actually put together an animated series and actually finish it. Maybe it's not a word that goes into it, but that's a bit disappointing. And like I said, it's just not enough blood, not enough guts and just feels a little bit tame to be honest so i've not really been that impressed with season two of invincible but of course i'm going to continue on and finish it anyway because once you start something you might as well end it once you start something you might as well